Well, I just turned the recording on, so. All right, well, this class is going to have a theme, but the theme is going to be letting go of this past week and just calming down. For some people, some people are more emotional and vulnerable that way than others. So it can be an emotional roller coaster with uh, some of these things happening. So we'll just uh, relax out of all of that and center. That'll be our theme is centering in the embrace of the source, centered in the embrace of the source. I am centered in the embrace of the source. Ah. So just lift tall in your spine. Close your eyes if you feel so inclined. Just to focus inward to where your peaceful center is, your connections. Compassion for self and others. Just focus on your breath for a few rounds. Come to where your stillness resides. Such a concept, stillness. Let's see if we can achieve that this morning. So just move your awareness to your emotional body. Pranamaya kosha. One of our energy sheaths around our body. Check in with your nervous system. It's been a busy week. Just see what impact on your nerves that has, if you can determine that through awareness. Notice your muscles and joints and what sensations you're getting. What's your body trying to tell you? Just 
just for a couple breaths, open to receiving that information from your body. We'll attune to breath, just starting with palms together in front of your heart and circling around like we frequently do. Just breathe your deep breath and open out, letting out toxins and tension. Repeat a few times at your own pace. One more round. All right. And then open your eyes and you're in a new dimension. Just let your legs out, shake them out. Okay. We're going to pat, pat the body down. So just take your right hand, left arm extended out, start at your hand, and just pat up your shoulder to your neck and down and up and down. This time come underneath your arm, underneath your armpit and across your chest and then switch arms up and down. And this time when you come up, come up, up underneath your arm, your armpit, up your chest, back around the back of your neck, and just take your fingertips for your head, coming up over your crown, over your ears, down to your jaw, up your cheeks, and up your forehead. Coming down in front of your throat and just, just like you have feathers for fingers, lifting the energy up and out of your throat, providing stimulation for your throat chakra, your ability to speak your truth, which is, well, we're being censored. So allow that to come out. Just feel the freedom in your throat, up and out of your mouth. Truth coming out of you, flowing through you. All right, and then coming down to your chest, round down your ribs and around your back, 
up as high as you can get down to your sacrum, back up and up across the trapezius muscles, upper back and then back down the armpits once again, down your sacrum, around your hips. Now, if you want, you can make a soft fist for your hips and down your legs. They're larger muscles. It's not quite so bony. So just coming up the front, down the sides, up the front, down the sides. Now just bend your right knee and pat underneath. Just let your hamstrings be loose in this moment. Pat the back of your knee, your calf muscles, let them be loose. Come down your ankle, the top of your foot and toes, and then just bring your foot across and pat the sole of your foot. And we'll come over to the other leg, bend your knee, just patting the hamstring muscles. Let them be loose side to side, back of your knee and down your calf muscle, ankle, top of your foot and toes. And then just bend your knee out to the side or bring your foot up onto your other leg, your thigh, and pat the sole of your foot. All right. And then bend your knees, place your hands on your shins just for a few cat stretches to wake up our spine and release any possible tension there. So reach up in center, breathe. Use your Ujjayi breath if you can remember to exhale and round your back, chin to chest, leaning back away from your knees. And then inhale and coming forward into arching cat. Rounded cat. Arching cat. One more round. So rounded cat. And arching cat, breathe it in. And back to center. And back to easy pose, just crossing your legs. And we'll work a little bit more with shoulders. So breathe and lift shoulders up to your ears. Squeeze out any tension, wring it out like a washcloth in the shower. Squeeze. And release, let your head just roll forward, stretching the back of your neck down into your spine. And then once again, lift your chin, lift your shoulders, breathe. Continue to breathe in and out as you squeeze, contract in the shoulders and the neck. Now, sometimes I like to just press one shoulder then to the other shoulder. So just taking your head, squeezing a little extra on the side. Back to center and let your shoulders down. Now this time, the same move, but a little different with the breath. So we're going to inhale the shoulders up. Hold your breath as long as you can. Exhale. 
And if you're ready, just exhale and let your shoulders down and circle them around. Loosen up. Reverse. So if you've been doing quite a bit of uh, computer work or carrying things, maybe taking down your Christmas decorations and packing them up, putting them back in storage. I'm just going to work with our shoulders a little bit more, opening the chest. So a circle around both directions. All right. And then bring your palms and your forearms together, touching. And if you can, lift your forearms so they're parallel to the floor. Take in your breath. As you exhale, open your arms and press back. Try to stay in line with your shoulder if you can. Open the chest and come back to bringing arms touching. Inhale. Exhale and open. Press to the back. Feel the stretch in your shoulders, the front of your shoulders, your chest. Lift up in your torso so ribs are lifted. Squeezing shoulder blades together. Feel that warmth coming in. Now just lower your arms, bring your hands behind you, interlace your fingers, and stretch your arms away. A little more opening for the shoulders, the chest. Lift your heart center. Lift your arms. Just lift them up, pulsing a little bit if you want. And if you like, you can press your head back and squeeze a little more. Any deeper tensions or stiffness in your neck, shoulders, throat, open your throat chakra. Beautiful blue sky color there. Now release your hands, take them up overhead, interlace fingers, turn palms away, reach up, press down in your sitting bones, lift your palms to the ceiling. And then reach again. And again, lift up. Reach. And release. And relax your palms on your knees. OK. So from here, Something uh, more for strengthening in the arms. Um, just bring your palms as close. Maybe bring your thumbs under your hips, not sitting on them with your sitting bones. but And just press down on your palms as though you want to lift your hips off the floor. And you can do that. Lift your hips and lower down. So just straighten your arms, lift up. Now, if you're feeling a little gumby this morning, you can bring your legs into half lotus, maybe. And as you lift, press up, lift your hips off the floor. And if you feel even more gumbified, <laughs> Come into a full lotus, bring your hands under you, and press up. Lift up off the floor. See if you can lift. Take whatever room you need, space for your hands, and swing a little bit. And lower down. And let your legs out. Feet separated, knees bent. 
palms behind you. Just take your knees now side to side to loosen. Okay, and then bring your toes underneath, come up onto the balls of your feet. And rock. Press your heels down. Let your Achilles tendon lengthen and stretch. Okay, and then let your knees down, come up sitting on your heels. Just bring your arms up overhead, interlace fingers, bend your elbows, just hands towards the back of your head. Now you're not gonna go far with this and that's just fine, but just come over for a side stretch. Keep your shoulders facing front. Open your elbows, breathe up to center. Exhale over to the other side. Pull away from your hip. There's a stretch in your psoas muscles here. Can you feel it? The more you pull away, the, probably the more you'll feel it. Lift up, inhale. Exhale, other side once again. All right, now from here, um, coming over to your left, bring your palm down onto the floor. Step your top leg out. We're coming into a side plank. So come up onto the ball of the other foot and cross it over the top and there you are in your side plank. Engage your muscles, look up towards the source, feel that embrace from the creative source and bring your knees back down. Come on to your heels sitting on your heels, arms up overhead, over to the side, other side, so it'll be your right. And then bring your right hand down, stretch out your left leg, cross your right foot over and press into your side plank. Okay, and come back down onto your shins. We're gonna repeat that, but we're gonna add a little strengthener. Okay. So bring your hands up behind your head. Exhale over to your left. Bring your left hand down, stretch out your right leg, reach and so you have your left leg crossing over at the foot. So it's just resting your foot on top. So now just lift that leg up and down. Look up towards the source. All right, bring your shins back onto the floor, sitting on your heels, hands up behind your head, breathe. And over to your right, nice stretch, huh? You can feel it 
loosening up in there. Now bring your right hand down, left leg out, cross right leg over top, reach, look up to the source and then take your right leg and just up and down. All right, now come around for a nice puppy stretch. Pretend the sun is overhead. Lengthen in your shoulder joints, pull away from your palms. Lift up onto your knees. Now your feet here can be either tops of your feet on the floor or you can have your toes turned under. We're just going to go into some work with our back. So palms on your low back. If you have tender knees this morning, just overlap your mat and place your knees on top. It'll give you a little extra padding. And then palms on your sacrum, fingertips down. Take in your breath. Lift your chin, lift your sternum, your ribs, engage your hips, elbows closer together and lean back. opening the front of your body. And roll back up, taking a nice releasing breath. <sighs> it's a good day because I am centered in the embrace of the source and lift up big in your chin, chest, engage your hips, elbows closer and lean back. So much easier the second time. And if you want to come into full camel, just reach back for your heels. If you want to just stay with your hands on your sacrum, that's fine. Open your shoulders, throat. And then come back up. And just hang forward. Let your shoulders drop, chin forward rounding your back as a counter pose. And then just lean forward, place your palms on the mat, step back into a plank momentarily and press your heels down as you come up into a downward facing dog. Okay, bring your right knee in towards your nose, curl in. Oops, I just lost my headset. <laughs> okay, we'll try this again. My hair is slippery this morning. So you can go ahead and let that knee down. And then other side. Okay. Draw your left knee in towards your nose. Okay. 
and then switch. Bring your right knee in. See if you can touch knee to nose. And then take that leg out straight behind you and lift it up into three-legged dog. Oh, I see what I did here. There we go. And bend your knee and flex your foot in just a few pulses, pressing up as though stomping on the ceiling. And we'll switch legs. Take your left leg up to the ceiling. Reach, stretch. And bend your knee, flex your foot, stomp on the ceiling. And back to down dog. Stretch it out, make it a long, relaxing, downward facing dog. And come forward into up dog, but still on the balls of your feet. Engage your hips to protect your low back. And down dog. Forward, up dog. Let your knees down onto the floor. We'll come into Ujjengasana, Cobra. Let the tops of your feet come down. Just a few roll side to side. And bend your elbows, press your pubic triangle into the ground. and pull back into child's pose, stretching out the work you just did. Arms at your sides, palms up. Imagine a presence is with you, an angel or a guide. Just imagine that someone massaging your back, just stroking your back, lengthening it, relaxing you. Bend your elbows out to the side a little bit. Let your shoulders relax down. And then release, just come up, sitting on your heels. Lift up onto your knees. And step your right leg out into the high lunge. And just a few vinyasas, taking in your deep breath and come forward in your hips, stretching the left psoas muscles, pull back, inhale, exhale forward. See if your body will go a little deeper Inhale, pull back, exhale forward. Now just press your right hand onto your right knee or thigh and scoop your left arm out, touch your index finger and your thumb together, palm in and look up as you lean back. So take a little bit more of an arch 
but keep shoulders facing forward. Look up into your palm. And then come forward, bring your palms onto the floor into sun pose, lift your chin. Toes under, lift into sun pose. Or if you need to, you can leave your knee on the floor. And a little twist, press down on your left palm, lift the right arm up, look up to the source. And bring your palm back down, step it back. Just come into down dog for a breath or two. And let your knees down onto the mat. Lift up onto your knees and bring your left leg forward. Palms on that knee. Breathe in your deep breath. As you exhale, come forward in your hips, lifting up out of your knee, your hip. Lift your sternum, pull back, inhale, exhale forward. And inhale, pull back, exhale forward and hold the pose, allowing your hips to relax here. And then Keeping your left hand on your knee or thigh, scooping your right arm out, bring your thumb and index finger together, lift up and back, reach up and back, just stretch it back. And then come forward, both palms on the floor, either side of your foot. Lift your chin. Turn the toes under for sun pose on the back foot. Lift your knee. Press down on your right palm. Lift your left arm up. Keep your stretch in your hips. Lift into your twist. Look up to the source. And bring your palm back down. Step the foot back for another down dog. Now for really yummy stretch, in your down dog, press down on your left palm, take your right hand, reach for your left leg. A little twist, it's a stretch for the legs. Look up under your arm, your left arm. Hold on to your ankle, your shin, whatever you can reach. And we'll switch. Take the arm, other arm, left arm over, hold on. Really press down in your right palm. Come into your twist, look up under your arm. And then back to down dog. And just walk your feet in part way. Come in for head to knee. And soften your knees, lower your hips, 
Arms out to the side for a chair pose. Separate your feet, just hip width as you come up. Reach. Navel to spine. And just step your right leg back for your warrior one pose. Up and back. And palms together for a prayer twist. Bringing your arm outside of your left leg. Press into your prayer twist. Come back to center. Lift back up into your warrior one. Arms overhead. And pull back. Step it in, palms together, and just let go a little bit here. Close your eyes, ground into the earth through the soles of your feet. Any deeper tensions, let them drain out through your feet. We release a lot through our feet. Let it drain. All right, now open your eyes. Soften your knees back for chair pose. Bring arms overhead. Navel to spine. Engage your core muscles, including the pelvic floor. Now take your left leg back into warrior one. Reach fingertips up. Lift up out of your hips and lean back. And come forward, bring palms together for your prayer twist. Bring your left arm outside your right thigh. Twist. Come back to center, warrior one, arms overhead, pull back, inhale, step it in, release, tension, just draining out, out your body. We're on the earth, so there's always more tension that can be released from within. Let it go, out down. Let the cleansing angels take it. Now reach arms up overhead, but keep your head facing 
forward, chin parallel to the floor, and allow your crown chakra to open. And allow divine light to flow in, filling all those spaces where you released. All right. Now breathing up, we'll come into a swan dive. Arms out, exhale, hinge forward. And we're going to step into our pigeon. So walk your hands forward on your mat. Take your right leg back, bend your left knee, bring that leg forward as you lower down into pigeon pose. Just get aligned for your best pigeon ever. <laughs> Pointing hips forward, lift in your chest. We did our cobra pose, we did our camel pose. Our backs are all loosened up, wrung out. Now we'll relax in our hips. And we'll come forward into sleeping pigeon. Just bring your forearms parallel. You can rest your forehead on your arms and just work with bringing that right hip down towards the floor. You may feel some sensation in the opposite hip, in your left hip. Just see how it is and work with it. Breathe and direct your breath into the area where you feel sensation, wherever that is. With every exhale, let it relax a little more. And bring that divine light down into your body again. Cleansing. Enlightening. Take your time with this. All right. If you're ready, we'll lift up. We're just going to pass through plank to come to the other side for pigeon. So turn your toes under, switch legs, and just align. Press your left leg back, and your right ankle as far forward as it will allow, and then continue to bring that left hip forward so that both hips are facing front. You're probably going to feel sensation in your right hip with that, but just work with it, breathe, loosen. Lift in your sternum, your ribs, as you press that hip forward. You can even use your hand if you want to.
Keep reaching back with the back leg. Something that helps me, you can see if it works for you, when I press down on the back foot, that helps me to press that hip forward. All right, and let's come down into sleeping pigeon. See where the sensation is and breathe. Direct your breath when you inhale into the area where you feel the sensation, the stretch, pain, whatever it is. And exhale, let it go, relax. Keep working with that back hip. It'll be your left side. Keep working with that coming towards the floor as you relax. Allow the divine light to flow in and bathe all those cells. Collecting tension or dross, toxins, whatever's in there that doesn't belong. And if you feel ready now, press your palms down, lift up, come over onto that hip and slowly bring the back leg around to the front. Take your time. Bring your feet around. Preparing for Shavasana. Press your sitting bones down. Separate your feet to where you want them. We're just going to roll down. Use your core muscles. Roll your hips under. Stretch that low back as you roll onto the floor. Roll your shoulder blades under, turn your palms up, straighten your legs out, relax every single muscle. Check yourself, start at your head, your face, notice your face, any muscles you're holding there, check your jaw, around your eyes and forehead. Let it go. Check your ears, your neck and throat. You holding there? Sometimes we have a, a habit of holding somewhere and we don't even realize it till we check. Shoulders. Are you holding a little bit there? Let them drop down. How's your spine? Is it flowing like a river along the mat? Hips pressing down against the mat.
thighs. Soft thighs. Relaxed thighs. Strong and in this moment relaxed. Kneecaps. Backs of your knees. Sinking down to the ground. Calf muscles. Again, strong and soft. Ankles, your support, representing support in your life. Let them relax your feet. Now, this is where stillness comes. Only thing happening is your breath. So let it happen. Relax your mind. No thinking, no doing. Just be.
Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Start to come back now, but notice the stillness, the deep relaxation. Remember it, commit it to your memory, and then you can start here the next time you meditate. Become aware of sounds. Sounds in the distance, sounds in the room, sound of my voice. Feel the floor underneath you. Feel divine, divine light coming into your body. Feel the prana on your breath. And start to bring in some moves. Fingers and toes. Now take a deep breath and lift your arms up overhead and stretch long. Point your toes, flex your feet and press through your heels. Draw your low back down against the floor. And take in a deep breath and stretch long once again. And on your exhale, bring your arms back to your sides and lift your knees to your chest. Wrap your arms around them. Roll side to side if you like. And then roll to one side and press up into sitting. Bring your hands into a mudra to seal in all the work you've done and the benefits from that work. I am centered in the embrace of the source. I am centered in the embrace of the source. I am centered. I am. And now just open your eyes. Kind of look around you a little bit. And with the deep breath, just bring your palms together over your heart. Ah, all done. <laughs> Great job, everybody. I wish you a peace-filled day. Namaste. Thank you, Michelle. Oh.
Huh. It was very nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice.